Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and we're going to continue our Artemis mission. This should be a shorter episode than before. We are going to... It says our starship is critically damaged, but I don't think there's anything broken in here at all. Normally, when you do a transfer like that in the last episode, normally things do get damaged, but I'm not seeing anything broken. Pretty sure everything's clear. So... Yeah, I guess we're okay. We're going to continue on with this episode. So we are picking up where we left off. We're going into wherever this is. How far away is it? 29 seconds? Yeah, we're fine. Since we transferred, there we go. Get our engines boosted a little bit. And we'll see where the signal echo takes it. Now it says approximate location. And it says we're not alone, right? Remember that? So let's see where this leads. As we get close, we're going to do a scan. We don't see anything. Let's go back into our cockpit and check. We see anything? I don't see anything. It says to land and begin your search. I'm going to do one more scan. There's a building to our left. Quick turnaround. I was thinking maybe it might have been a freighter or something like that, but I don't see one anywhere. How far away are you? Alright, let's just land. I was going to check out the buildings, but... Why wait? That way. So that apparently... It's beyond the machinery that's in the distance. We'll pull our ship towards us. How's the... Charge on our ship look? Let's just check it real quick. 40? We're good. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Recharge that. It's our protection. Against the elements, the toxic elements of the station. What is that? Unburied technology. We will take it. So we got three out of it. And broken machinery. Just grab it while we go. Oh, we got a movement module out of it. Isn't that interesting? Uh, is that worth it? Let's check. 174, 717, 20. It is actually better than the one we had. It's actually better than this one. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. And install it. There we go. Good deal. Can't put it in our ship or too far away, but that's a fine. Good. That was a good upgrade. That way. Let me just keep turning real quick, so it should be in this general direction. Let's keep going. Hello. We'll take your oxygen. Thank you. I'm not going to bother taking the plant, though. Okay, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. What did we find? Looks like we found a grave. Let's see what this is, folks. There it is. First, let's pull in our ship, because we need it. What do you think we're going to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep. So, we have discovered the fate of Artemis. There she is. I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis. But there's only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask if they're alright. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu, as if I've been here before, right at this very moment. Ask where they are. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came, watched closely, Bzz. Mur machines, murderers, tss, against the bzz. The voice falls silent. Projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram. It, it bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I've received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are bzz, called them? but still beloved. Anomaly, they pss, not up polo watching us, pss, tracking. Pss, mistake, pss, abandoned, but it wasn't. Through the portal, pss, please, don't trust. Pss. I'm afraid. Aren't. Pss. We're going to comfort Artemis. Projection fizzles away to mere static. The e this echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. 
Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. And there you go. So, we have discovered the fate of Artemis. Let us take it to the next level. So we're going to go out here. We need to scan for a hollow terminus. Detected. Right there, apparently. It's probably an approximate location, as usual. Got a building over there. Slow down. Let it generate. Indeed. I don't know about you guys, I don't see it anywhere. I'm gonna go over here. Because I want to grab this oxygen patch while I'm here. There we go. That should be it. Let's take a look. It's 561 that way. Wow, okay. Could be anywhere in that general direction. Okay, let's go over there. So we should be able to see it from our ship from here. On the other side of the hill, maybe we just didn't see it. Ah, there it is. There it is. Got it. Watch this. <laughs> right through the building. Once you have it selected, you can go right through it. If there's no, uh, what do you call it, around? Sentinels. Let's grab some of these glowing minerals. We have the ability to do so. It gives us good stuff. There's only two of them. There we go. Take advantage when you can. Should have the juice now to make it all the way to the top. Yep, sure enough. There we go. Okay. Warning. Network compromise. Warning. Manual override required. There are no signals ma signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors for manual override. The warning messages cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. Oh boy. Guess who's there? Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Null. You are not alone. Now we know who was sending those messages, right? You notice his name is Yellow. Keep that in mind. Tell me, what's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Suggest death does not erase life. Suggest we improve the lives of others. Say you do not know. I like number two. Death does not erase life. But it does. All those moments, gone. Everything that came before, meaningless. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more, after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Say you would need to know more. A skeptic? Well, Artemis was already dead. Your journey to save them has failed. What do you have to lose? The blood of Artemis is data. The heart, it's glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis' frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call a mind, the mind arc. A device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. We'll accept. I accept, not knowing who the stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures. But if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I'll take it. Okay. Very interesting, wasn't it? <gasps> What's this? Looks like Artemis. Are you... Psst. Are you... Psst. Are you... Psst. Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc before I can help them further. Leave. And hopefully, that is it. I think we can try again, but I think it just does the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Does the same thing. Alright. 
All right, so we've got to craft the mind arc. To do so, let me open these up real quick. What did we get? We got iridocyte. Nice. It's worth a lot of money. And we got a tritium hypercluster. I'm going to hang on to the hypercluster itself. This is my ship tool. There we go. Okay. Um, make a mind arc. We need wiring looms. We got them. Glass. We got that. And we need a soul engine. Here's the soul engine. Requires cadmium. We have some. A living pearl and metal plating. Living pearl... We have to get from a water planet. We can go to our own system and do that. We don't have to stay here. So let me go ahead and get out of here. Where's my ship? Down there. Whee! There we go. And off we go. Okay, we don't have to go for a red solar system. Ha ha ha. Requires the cadmium drive though. Do we have that yet? I don't remember. No, that's not it. Cadmium. Yes, we do. We're all set. We're in good shape. We do We do want to get the uh, uh, indium drive eventually, but that's okay. We need to report this to Nada and Polo. There we go. And we can probably take the teleporter here to our own system. That would be a good idea. I think. And I promise if there's a purple mission in here, I'm not going to take it. We want to keep this this particular episode a little bit shorter, I think. We'll see. Okay. Out we go. Off to the Nada Polo. Hello, Nada. Oh, his name's Purple now. Did you notice that? Interesting. Oh, it was Purple before, too. That's right. Traveler Entity. Nada has watched your signal. Nada has seen other entity. And other entity is old. Older than Nada. Older than our home. Nada feels them watching. Ask about Null. Nada asks the other entity as, are they first? Are they last? Missing Entity chose not to answer. They have ignored us. Apollo Entity ignores us too, ignores the Travelers, such as their pattern. It is valid. Nada understands. Interesting. Uh, Nada has retreated into themselves, their lice pulsing but saying nothing. They have nothing more to add. Okay, so I can't even ask about Apollo. Alright, we got our Quicksilver and our Nanites. Nada says you have met Missing Friend. Missing Friend did not like me. Ask about no. They are not like me or not, or like Nada. They have freedom, like all of you traveler friends. But they do not share the sights they see. They hoard them. They are jealous. Polo does not approve. Okay, he doesn't like them. So, very interesting. So, before we leave the station, we're going to take a quick trip over here to Ares to turn in some data. Also wanting to do that weird move. Uh, let's see. Uh, transmit milestone data. Seen much, but do you understand enough for me to know? Please take this. Nice. There we go. 800 nanites. That was worth it. Very much worth it. Okay. Moving on. So, we're going to leave the system here. Let me just check our log. We don't have to do the space anomaly anymore. Let's go back to the first traveler, and we're going to continue on. All right. Off we go. So, we need cadmium, but we can duplicate what we've been able to put our inventory. And we also have other things. We could have deconstructed, purchased some, and deconstructed some uh, parts for our ship. I did say I was going to go back to my base, didn't I? Gosh darn it all. Blah, 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 blah. Dummy. It's okay. Wasn't thinking. Meant to hit the portal on the way out before we left. In other words, use the portal to, to escape from here. And if we leave uh, from there and go straight to our base, if we want to come back to this system, we can. Straight. So that's the brilliant part about this. Okay. Good. Parked right over here. Off we go. And we use the big portal. Big portal. Master base. On our way. All right, so everything we need is going to be here. It takes a couple moments to get there. And we're going to finish out 
this portion of the anomaly missions, uh, pardon me, not anomaly mission, you know what I'm talking about, the Artemis mission line. Um, and we're, we have met the first traveler, we've met Null, and we saw some of his story through those monoliths we went through earlier, through the storytelling and the uh, abandoned terminals and stuff like that. Uh, so we know a little bit about his story and how he is very annoyed, if you will. Hey guys, good to see you too. Yeah, they're very just happy to see me, aren't they? All right, first things first. We need to duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. I don't know if we have it. We might have more sitting in our cargo container. I didn't think of that. We don't need much. 225, good. And now we need a living pearl. Uh, which way to the water? Looks like this way is best. Do we have any living pearls in our inventory? I didn't even think of looking uh, this way. I don't think we do, but it's worth taking a look. No. See void moats. Lots of stuff. Okay. You know what we should do? Can we access our starship from here? We can. Uh, paraffinium. Glass. Stable gel. Let's put some of these parts away to deuterium. Uh, we don't need our charts, really. I'll hang on to them just in case, but pretty sure we're not going to need them. Uh, let's see. We don't need the warp cells. Larval cores. I do want to duplicate that multi-tool expansion slot quickly. And we do need to upgrade our multi-tool while I'm at it. Um, anything else we don't need? We'll hang on to the pirate transponders. Air kits? Awesome. Good to know. Forgot we had all those. That's good. Alright, that looks good. Yeah, we'll hang on to that for now. Okay, good. Let's put it away. I'm going to put it in the second storage container real quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, that's fine. I know that some of the stuff exists in the other one, but that's okay. Alright, we're good here. We don't have any pearls. Let's go to the water. Let's see. There's one over there. Armored clam. Coming up on it quick. Good. Got a few of them over here. And you can just pick them up now. Just stay away from the other thing here. I got three of them. Awesome. Should we grab some more? I think we should. I think we should grab a few more because I have a funny feeling we're going to need them. Although the worlds that we go to for some of our um, stuff that we have coming up is going to be water worlds anyway, so I'm not too, too worried. But it's good to have the extra since we're here. There we go. Five should do. You think? Ooh, did we? Just checking. You never know when that, that third fishy will show up. I gotta go out in the ocean to find it. That's my guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really need to upgrade that one of these things. Wrong button. Okay, good deal. Got three more pearls. Oh, there's some right here. Good. Nice. Another one. I'll take it. Good. All right, excellent. Hey, okay, one more quick look before we head back to our base. Sure is a lot of green out there. Love to have some red. One red would be great, but nope, not today. Okay, ship is that way. Well, let's go. Just checking. I don't think we have any. Uh, we're going to go to the nearest shoreline so we can get back a little quicker. Really? Is this high enough out of the water? Looks like it is, yes.
Ah. You know, the whole point behind that is so I could get to the shore quicker and I end up running into fish. <sighs> Hate that. Alright, here we go. Lots of oxygen around here, that's good. We need it, we can grab it. But we should be good to go for a while. Alright, so we are on our way. Let's go up here. Alright, so we needed that. And now we can make the... Oh yeah, how many do we need? One? Two? Was it two or three? Need three. Okay, something going on here. There we go, soul engine. And now we can make the mine dark, right? Nope, we need three glass. <clears throat> and we just put all of our glass away. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <clears throat> Go in here, grab three glass. Let's build it real quick. Mine dark is created. Okay, that was bothering me. I wanted to take care of that. So, Mind Arc is done. Turn to the tar Terminus. Oh, it's taking us to a different one. Interesting. Okay, I can do that. Now, is this one... No, it doesn't say approximate location. Maybe it'll say that when we get closer, but I think it actually has pinpointed one for us, because I think we've been here before. Oh, it is. Cool. Well, it's this little hole in the ground, too. Interesting. All right, we are back. Up we go. And we're up. Activated. Okay, good. Tune into Artemis. Okay, let's get in here. Oof, right through me. Love that. There we go. And there's Artemis. Psst. Okay, we're going to comfort them. I attempt to comfort Artemis, telling them that everything will be all right. They turn to me with a wild look of panic, clearly not expecting my voice. Who is that? Who? Identify yourself. I tell Artemis I'm their friend, that I could not find them within the portal, but that I have found a way to restore them. I didn't... I didn't think you would come back. You never gave up, did you? All those years. Ask, Ar ask what Artemis means. I've pssst, I've been here for 20 years waiting for you to pssst. You were going to find my star chart, weren't you? Claim they will be safe soon. Who is that? Who who's there? Artemis repeats their words again, our conversation all but forgotten. They stare at me, their eyes pained, their mind trapped in an endless loop. They appear to have spent 20 years in this pseudo-death, haunted by loneliness and fear. If the stranger's device works, perhaps I can help Artemis move on. Use the mind dark. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what to expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next, there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over, their signal still active. Back to Null. Travelers are a dream. An idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone. Not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, or the aerons, or the progenitors. It is that final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. 
Go to the stars, Traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Leave. Okay, anybody else? Nope. Okay, we're done here. Let's go to the anomaly. Where's my ship? It's over here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Ah, can't get over the top of that. There we go. Ah! Boink. Okay. So, bringing Artemis to Nada. Up we go. Into space. And there is the anomaly. So we could have returned to the other system via the anomaly, but that's okay. No reason to go to that system. Who knows where that one planet was that the Atlas took us to. That's very interesting. But, you know, here we are. Now this next part, if you've never seen this part before or never gone through the missions yourself, is poignant. You have to decide what to do. Um, I've made decisions in both ways and have discovered which one is which and discovered which one I like the most. Like being a kind of a, a useless word here because actually it's not really like, it's more like um, a decision that had to be made. That's all. All right. Reese Entity Nada. Grand Entity, Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Nada's visor lights. Nada's visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. Reassure them. I tell Nada that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Nada relaxes, but a question still hangs in the air. I tell about tell them about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Arc. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I, I never thought to see a traveler's soul. You are so beautiful. But, friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. Ask why. Artemis Echo will never have body again. Will never explore again. Old life gone. But we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It is something living, a refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation, where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Ask about the simulation. I ask what life would be like inside this simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experience, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends... Such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose, upload them to machine, to sub-simulation, where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. So we asked about the simulation, we're going to ask if there's another way. Nada shakes their head strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. They gesture, the gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose. And it repeats the same message. Say that you have decided. Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. Leave. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are Traveler, friend. Polo. Nada told me what you needed. What you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you, no matter the choice. I will prepare the machine. It is Nada, friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Leave. Okay. So... Decision time. We are taking Artemis, their mind, if you will, to this machine in the back that Nada has prepared for us. It's a sub simulation. It's a, you'll find out in just a moment. It's called Terminal Prime. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to off. Tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker. As they commune with the machine, the words on panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity authorization detected, secondary simulation, right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada, it will act as a home for Artemis should I wish it. 
So what you see here is it's a sub-simulation and you're starting to understand our purpose in this. Your character is a simulation, is in a simulation. It is a character in a game. That's all it is. Artemis is another character and is being uploaded into a sub-simulation as a new entity. However, they'll be limited to only that solar system. They will not be able to leave it. They can go from planet to planet, but they can never hyperspace out of the system. Again, it is a false system, a false existence. So do we upload Artemis or do we allow Artemis to die? I choose number two to allow Artemis to die. It is not an existence and there's no reason to prolong the inevitable. Even as I process my decision, Nada's hum takes on a quiet new intensity. I speak and their voice replies, intelligible now. They talk gently and suggest I place the Ark upon the terminal. I do so and hear a whisper, a prayer. The Ark begins to unfold, twisting from its center, releasing the traveler's soul within. I witness a spark of blue light blaze within the air before me. It fades after a moment, but with it, the last remnant of Artemis within this world. I hear Nada's voice over the speaker, intelligible now and reassuring. They tell me that it is done. Artemis is at peace now. They suggest I do not dwell on these moments. They tell me that I did the right thing. So, that ends the existence of Artemis. She was dead all along. It was just a matter of making the decision to move it forward. Putting their mind in there would not have made them whole again, if you will. So, real quick. Artemis Echo from Nada has been disconnected, freed from a cruel life. You have done well, Traveler. Your guilt, it is a sacrifice for the one you called friend. Go on without regrets. And Polo? You did what you had to do, friend. Traveler Artemis is free of pain now. You can say the same. And that is it. So that ends the Artemis line. You're continuing on. It's still called the Artemis storyline, even though Artemis no longer is around. Uh, what you're doing now is you're completing to find out what is next in this line of thinking. So this uh, is going to complete just a little bit. We're going to go a little further with the mission here, and then we're going to end our episode. Tells us to change the mission. There we go. Back to this. And we're done. Apollo. Are you bzzz, receiving? The hollow termos is showing bzzz, available again. Your signal was bzzz, thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. Explain. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best I can. The gateway, the strange planet, a vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It is just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the atlas itself. You? You saw it? You met the atlas? The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought... Are you all right? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Say it was just a machine. Well, you got three choices. Say it was terrifying, say it was just a machine, say it was not a god. I'm going to go with number three. Not a god. I tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels, as if, they, as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me. I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you, Apollo says. And I think, I think there's something in what you just said. The Corvax pay homage to this Sentinels, to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Say talk of money is absurd. I get three choices. Agree with them. Say talk of money is absurd. Or say there is more important things. The talk of money is absurd. I suggest talk of rewards is absurd at a time like this. The Atlas felt hostile, inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. Until Apollo of Artemis' grave, 
my encounter with the mysterious traveler null, I suggest that there is more going on here than an opportunity to earn units. Artemis is dead? Says Apollo. I... I don't... How? I would... Pst, I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed, and I... Pst, what's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Tell them of your choice. Or lie. I'm going to tell them of the choice, of course. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explained that I could not do it. I, it would not have been life. Just an empty existence within the simulation. I had to allow Artemis to find peace and death. I ask if this was right. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you f might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns in, this, in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code and communication. Okay. So we need to find a monolith. Just have to hit the C button. And hopefully it'll be on our own planet. That would be awesome. But it's probably going to take me to that stupid ice planet again. Yep, it did. Okay, that's fine. I know there's one on my own planet, but whatever. Off we go. So, we are not going to step through the monolith at this time. We are going to end the episode here. And monolith travel and on with the rest of this uh, storyline are going to continue in the next episode. So I know this was kind of a short one, but you know there's been some really long episodes lately. Um, <laughs> I mean, the last one was just over an hour. We're not a big deal. That's usually what my episodes last. But the one before that being two and a, two hours long, and then I have to have a half hour special to complete it. Yeah, yeah, a little bit much. Oh, wait, wait. Is that it? That's not a monolith. I mean, that's a monolith. Oh, okay. We got to go to the monolith. This is the monolith. Uh, we'll, we'll get to the portal. That's what we're going to do in this episode. So, back up the model. Now, we've already been to this one, but it's still working. Anomaly, 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 anomaly. One of the anomalies was in red. I see the stone of the monolith. It's a immovable, muted silver. And yet, something lurks beneath. It is gray, and yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere beneath its cool surface. Locate a portal. Okay, portal has been located. Ley line, ley ling, I can't say it. Ley line link detected. Okay, portal's over there. 15 hours away on foot. We will fly there. And then end our episode. Because that's where I think we need to pick up from. Stepping through a portal will be a great time to uh, continue on, I think, personally. Three. Two, one, and it's daylight. At least that much is good. All right. Now it says the direct. Yes, there it is. And there we are. Into the portal again. I'm going to check it real quick, but we're not going to step through. Whoops, I'm on the wrong side. No big deal. All right, and we may have to activate this one. Yes, we do. That's what I was wondering. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and activate it. I'm going to go ahead and put all these elements in. You need a bunch of different elements to activate a portal on your own world, and you should only have to do it once. We can use cobalt or dihydrogen here. I'm going to go with the cobalt, I think, personally. Cobalt. Cobalt. Uh, let's see, cadmium or copper. Let's go with the copper. 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 And then finally, oxygen, condensed carbon, or carbon. Let's go with the oxygen. I think we have a crap ton of that, so we'll go ahead and use that. And there we go. And we're ready. Traveler capture loop enabled, anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Request the planet's address. 
and there it is at the top. So we're done. We don't have to record it. It's there. Leave. And we're done. Okay, so we've learned the coordinates for the planet, and now we just need to let our, uh, Apollo know what they are. And that's it. And we'll move on from there. So, okay. That should take care of it right now, as it says to relay these at, at the hollow terminus. We'll do that in the next episode. I want to again thank you all for watching, and please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate uh, doing, I, I really enjoy doing this for you all, and I appreciate if you could just hit a like and subscribe if you wish. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.